Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cryptids Unlimited. Tonight I have a story about a dogman. Once again, I find them very, very interesting. If you have any yourself, please let me know, and I would love to narrate them for you. Let's begin. I'm an outdoorsman. I'm very experienced in hunting, camping, hiking, and general survival. I'm very familiar and used to wildlife, and I was charged by what I believe was a cryptid called a dogman. It charged me and my cousin. It was not a bear. A bear cannot move how it did. It was not a normal wolf, as they can't comfortably run on two legs, whereas what charged us seemed natural at doing. This happened around June or July of 2007. I was around 17 years old, and more cocky then, but still somewhat knowledgeable of the outdoors. My family used to own a cabin in Wisconsin. I basically grew up there in the summer. I knew the woods well, but at night it was wise to stay in the cabin, or at least by the bonfire by the beach, because of bears, wolves, and cougars. And maybe the dog man. One of the creepiest things was if you were having a bonfire. The tree line was visible from the fire pit in the beach, but at night, you always felt like you were being watched from that tree line. But during the day, the woods always seemed normal. Not so creepy. That is until this incident. So this happened somewhere between 12 o'clock and 2. Me and my cousin were having an airsoft battle. I was in full woodland camel. He was not. I retreated onto the ATV trail into the woods for a tactical advantage, and our battle took us about 200 meters into about a third of the way up the trail. We had enough at this point, and we were standing at the edge of a clearing on the trail, talking, and he was maybe 10 feet from me when I decided to mess with him. I shushed him and said, we were being watched. He froze. Then I realized the woods were dead, quiet, and I got spooked and started scanning the tree line and the other edge of the clearing from left to right when I saw it. Its teeth, teeth gave it away. It was panting and staring at my cousin. I don't expect you to believe me, but what I saw was a wolf as big as a black bear. At least 300 pounds, but it wasn't normal. This wolf was on two legs, crouching next to the tree with his arms grasping the tree, grasping with a clawed hand. It had reddish brown fur. I told my cousin that we have to go. And next thing I know, he is sprinting. And I looked back at Wolfie, who had locked on and sprinted a few steps on two feet. Then I turned and ran when it looked like Wolfie was dropping all fours. It charged us and sounded right on our asses, barreling through the brush. But for whatever reason, it let us grow when we broke out of the tree line and headed for the cabin. What stuck with me the most was the sheer size. Wolfie appeared to be nearly seven feet tall. And that, where it should have had front paws, it appeared to have large clawed hands. Now, I'm not sure how to explain it. I've heard wolves will occasionally kind of walk upright, but as far as I know, they can't sprint on two legs. Nor do wolves get that big. And black bears waddle on two legs. The closest description is silly. A werewolf or a dogman.